Hey guys, it's Sashi Booty. It's been a while since my last kind of update video where I go over what my plans are for this channel and kind of what I'm going to be aiming at accomplishing throughout the year. So this is kind of like a 2022 roadmap. <laughs> There's been a few changes with the channel and the way that I've been structuring everything. And so I thought it might be a good idea while we have a look at some of the footage from my recent trip to Korchi, kind of have a look at what my plans are for this channel and kind of what my goals are right now and kind of what kind of content you should expect to be seeing. I'm always considering and planning what is the best way for you guys to learn Japanese in a fun way with video games and what's the best way that I can deliver that content to you and so I've been kind of evolving some of the videos that I started and kind of perfecting some video styles and just kind of getting a general plan for potentially the next five ten even more potential years uh, of this channel so I've just been kind of looking at how can I do it best uh, for you guys and what's the way that is going to be most beneficial to you, most watchable to you, most realistic for me to make in terms of the time it takes to make, so that you can get regular content potentially more than once a week, and try to make sure that it's all this kind of cohesive, complete package. So I'm just going to kind of go through all the things that I've got planned in my head and kind of why I'm doing things the certain way that I'm doing them and how that's going to be helpful for you. So first up, the grammar series. As you may be aware, I've done a complete JLPT N5 and a complete JLPT N4 grammar video where it's just one huge video where I cover all of the grammar in those levels with explanations and I also give you real contextual examples from video games to kind of see how exactly that language is used. Recently I've been releasing the N3 grammar videos at kind of like three or four grammar points a time as that's kind of easier for me to make and kind of it allows you to get more regular content not having to wait months and months and months and months for a potential video. So I'll be continuing that for the rest of the N3 but I'm also going to be evolving the way that I approach grammar. I've been kind of looking at the channel and thinking like right now if you look at my channel it's very difficult to see exactly what you're getting from this channel. It's very hard to look at the channel and go oh I can learn that, I can learn that, I can learn that. Everything's kind of locked away behind other videos that's not so clear. So what I'd like to try and aim to do both this year and in the future is make a little bit clearer videos for you guys with a very very clear objective goal and what you're going to get from the video. So think for example how recently I did the pronoun video and looking at the difference between jōzu and tokui. Those videos are much more straightforward in what you're going to be getting from them. And they're also much easier for me to make, rather than taking weeks to potentially months to making a video, just one video, um, I can actually get these videos out much more frequently, potentially every couple of days. And the same kind of thing with the kanji series. Right now I'm covering 10 kanji at a time with the JLPT N5, and that's fine. However, it is a little bit big, a little bit overwhelming both to make and to watch, and it is nice for kind of you know the N5 where it's just the beginner kanji getting a quick understanding for these really important kanji but what I'm actually going to be doing in the future if you may have noticed is actually release one kanji one video and you master everything that you need to know about that one kanji in that one video so that's a much more simpler video to make potentially I could make that video in about one to two days of work so much more likely that you can get regular content as well as being much more beneficial to you because this one video, watch this and you've mastered it, right? It's much more simple. So I'm trying to move towards not making such intimidating videos for you guys and being really, really easy to watch, very, very informative and kind of with a sense of finality where you watch this and ah, I got it. Now moving on to the vocab series. I really love the vocab series and I've noticed a lot of you guys do as well with all of your comments. Now those videos are incredible. There is one flaw to them however and that is that they are very intimidating for the viewer. Sometimes one hour to two hours long. <laughs> Sorry about that. And also they're very difficult to make for me. Uh, some of those videos could take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a month sometimes even more than a month if I'm not working myself sick just to get one video out for you guys. And that's not really working out. Like it's great, it's cool. I'm making a video that I can feel really proud about and it's got really high production values, but it means that you guys are only gonna get like one episode every kind of couple of months. And I don't really like that. I'd like to be able to give you so much more content, so much more variety and actually make it more of a regular thing. So I've been kind of playing in my head how could I actually make this better and actually the recent first hour of triangle strategy video was kind of my first steps into how could I do a vocab series but not take two months for me to make. <laughs> 
And so I'm actually thinking about potentially evolving and changing the vocabulary series itself to be much more easier for you to watch, enjoyable for you to watch, easier for me to make, much more regular content. So I'm currently planning that out, thinking about how I can utilize my Wacom tablet, drawing on the screen, quick definitions, but also kind of share the experience of a game. In my ideal sense, I would really like to be able to give you guys a video like every week or so, which is doing the same thing that the vocab series is doing, which is breaking down Japanese, having fun, checking out a game together and hanging out. Well, I'd like to kind of try and make that kind of video a little bit more regularly. So if you've noticed this kind of a theme, I'm wanting to make videos that are much easier to make, which means you get more regular content. Ideally, a video should only take me one or two days to make, not two weeks to one month, right? <laughs> I'm also gonna be making game reviews and tier lists, so kind of introductions to games so you guys can kind of learn what are some interesting, cool Japanese games that are out there, as well as kind of having a look at what my personal favorites are and why. And that's pretty much the bulk of the content that I'm looking at making. Now, there are other types of videos, for example, like the Final Fantasy VII Remake series. However, I'm actually looking at potentially making a video style uh, with the kind of vocab series type that I was talking about before, where I could actually approach any game at all. Today we could play some Pokemon, tomorrow we could play some Final Fantasy VII, the next day we could play some Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't know, but kind of, I'm wanting to make it so that I can make really useful, educational, fun, not intimidating, easy videos that is still made to that high quality that I've been trying to achieve with the previous videos. And so ultimately, my goal for this channel is to give you guys a very approachable, fun, enjoyable bridge into native Japanese media, seeing exactly how real Japanese is used, not just the textbooks. And so I'll be making videos on kanji, grammar, as well as breaking down sentences where you'll learn lots of vocab, game reviews to give you an introduction to what kind of cool games there are out there, and even things like comparison videos where we look at the differences between different types of language. I'm even looking at making some videos in the future once I've finished a bit of the JLPT, looking at kind of how could I approach more universal aimed material such as Genki textbooks or Minna no Nihongo, actually looking at how I could actually approach that, but helping you learn those things through real context like the rest of my videos. So there's a huge amount of things that I'm trying to do with this channel, both teach you Japanese, but also have fun, hang out, enjoy video games, and just kind of celebrate Japanese, Japanese language, Japanese video games. Some of you may not know, but I do actually work full time as a university teacher, so I am just absolutely swamped making content constantly. Ever since like I started this channel, I think I've only had like two times in the whole period where I've had more than one day off on a consecutive level. <laughs> it's always been just like work, 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 get home from work, work on the videos, constantly, constantly working. And thanks for your guys' support on Patreon. I've actually been able to reduce the amount of work days that I have this year by one. <laughs> so I'm gonna have more time to work on videos. And so hopefully we keep growing more and more in the future so I can spend more time focusing on Game Ganger. And so in a Enormous thank you guys for all of your support, seriously. It really is helping me make more content for you guys and kind of plan for the future how eventually I'd like to grow Game Gengo into kind of a comprehensive learning channel where you really can learn everything. It's just gonna take a lot of work. I am only one man. I have to do as much as I can and also stay alive and healthy. Uh, so I'm doing my best. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Thank you so much guys for all of your support. I have my first sponsored video coming up soon. Uh, I think that'll probably release a little bit shortly after this video and that's kind of cool my first sponsored video wow that's amazing so you know all looking good had quite a few interviews already this year I think we've already finished two interviews about to do a third interview I'm on Apple Podcasts. I'll let you guys know when I get that done so I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and I hope it's helping you guys enjoy learning Japanese thanks so much guys I hope you look forward to all the videos I've got coming up if you have any cool video ideas please feel free to leave them in the comment section below I'll be happy to read them and I I often talk with people on Discord that actually helps me kind of figure out what is actually useful for you guys, how can I actually improve and make things even better for you guys. So please feel free to leave a comment anytime you want, I always read your comments. Even if I can't get around to replying to everyone, I read every single comment I get. So thank you so much guys and let's do our best. Gunpati Mashal.